guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the new album from Kalma, the Finnish melodic death metal band, who I've been into since I was 7 or 8 years old. It's really exciting that this came out. Um, I have been waiting to see them as well since I was super young. They're playing a festival called Warhorns here in the UK in September, which I have a ticket for. That's going to be awesome. Got to work out my travel and accommodation, but I will sort that out nearer the time, I'm sure. Um, I will say, as always, if you're new to my videos, I go more in-depth when I write a review, which is going to be linked in the description to my WordPress, where I write all my reviews. But um, I'll still be talking about it here. So I picked this up. This is a bit late. It just came out on the 6th, I believe. It's now the 13th of April. And I just really like it. Like, um, I played, I've only heard the track, The Evil Kin, which is the second track, which was released about three months ago. It's on Spine Farm Records. And that song's really catchy. Despite the lyric of Hip Hip Hooray, which I thought was a kind of odd lyric, it kind of, it all works. If you don't know Kalma, Children of Bodom is the best band to liken them to. Like, I was listening to this band, and my friend's brother were like, hey, this is like Children of Bodom. And that's how I discovered my favourite band. This is 10 tracks of, like, really folk-infused, melodic death metal, really catchy guitar harmonies, um, heavy riffing, blasty drums. The vocals are a lot more guttural than the band's prior, uh, previous stuff. I would really like their songs like Swamp Hell and Heroes to Us. They're both really good ones to check out. They're the two first songs I heard from them. The, um, the whole album, kind of, track 5 and 10 are a bit slower, heavier... Um, got a more kind of doomy feel, like still melodic death metal, but kind of doomy style, maybe like Insomnium or something. The rest is all very kind of guitar orientated with uh, Anti Coco and Pe Pekka Coco, the brothers who are the lead guitarist and the rhythm guitarist stroke vocalist. The whole band is super talented musicians. There's lots of cool keyboards, really nice artwork as well. Sorry about the reflection. Um, well, you can Google it if that's not good enough. Um, the booklet's fairly simplistic. The whole design is really based around this kind of like dead zombie tree thing, which reminds me there's a film called The Girl with All the Gifts, and it has like this tree of like fungal zombie shit, and it reminds me of that a lot. Um, but yeah, if you're into like bands like, what, the Finnish melodic death metal scene, like Norther, Children of Bodom, like early Dark Tranquility, uh, really early In Flames, uh, Insomnium. I'm aware Dark Tranquility and Inflames are Swedish, but still, that kind of stuff, like really lead guitar oriented, just n no room for clean vocals. So if you if you like your kind of melodic death metal, more like Soil Work or Scar Symmetry, this may not be as much for you. I like all those bands, but this is really good stuff. The album's called uh, Palo or Palo, and my Finnish is awful, it's a really hard language. Uh, the album is in English, though, I believe entirely. There might be some... I think it's entirely in English. Um, but yeah, check this out. It's a really cool album. If you want to read my review, my favourite songs were The Evil Kin and uh, Take Me Away and Into the Black Marsh. So track two, four, and five. Into the Black Marsh, I like that they kind of went back to the swamp marsh theme because they're from kind of very damp parts of Finland. So yeah, check Kalma out with their new album, Palo and Spine Farm Records. Maybe check out some of their earlier stuff as well, like uh, Swamp Lord, fucking awesome band. Stay metal, and I'm sure I'll be back soon for more reviews and talks about things and rankings and all that kind of stuff. See you later, guys. Cheers for watching.